Welcome to Introduction to Accounting, Preparing for a User's Perspective. Accounting Equation, Computing Ending Balances. As you can see here, I've put up the accounting equation. Assets equals liabilities plus equity. The accounting equation, also known as the balance sheet equation, shows resources a company has and who or what has claim to those resources. Resources are either claimed by the lenders and creditors who provide the resources, or claimed by the owners because they're left over. If you take all the assets and deduct the liabilities, what's left over belongs to the owners, and that's called net assets. So let's do these three problems as quickly as we can. In this case, we've been given our asset, which are $50. So let's put in the $50 assets which are given, put in the $20 liabilities are given, and we recognize that we don't know our equity. In order to solve this algebraically, we're going to remove the $20 from both sides. You've got to keep this equation in balance, so if you do one thing to one side, you got to do it to the other side. So what this effectively represents is if you take all your assets and deduct the liabilities, you have $30 in net assets remaining, which belong to the owners, and that is their equity in the business. $30 is the answer as the equity of the business, also known as net assets. Let's do the next problem. In this problem, once again, they've given us the assets, so let's put down the assets. But instead of giving us the liabilities as in question one, they've given us the equity. So let's put in the equity. So they know how much belongs to the owners. So the question is, how much has been funded by lenders and creditors? So once again, don't know this. We're going to solve for the unknown by deducting $40 from both sides so that liabilities can be on that side all by itself. That means $50. And this is now zero. So our liabilities equal 50. Pretty easy. So in other words, if you take all your assets and deduct what belongs to the owners, the difference must have been funded by the lenders and creditors. Let's do the next problem. So on this final question three, in this case, they've given us the assets of 70. They've given us the liabilities of 10. And then they say, well, what are net assets? Well, if you didn't know that net assets and equity mean the same thing, this could be confusing. But you know that already because you learned that in question one. So we're trying to figure out what equity is because that's the same thing as net assets. Net assets effectively say, take all your assets, deduct what belongs to the creditors, and what's net left over belongs to the owners. So by deducting liabilities from both sides, we get net assets on this side of 60, which means that is equal to our equity, which is the same thing as our net assets. So it doesn't get any harder than this and when dealing with the question on the accounting equation. So I'm going to give you a few quiz questions, have you test this idea, make sure you've got this solved, and then we'll move on to the next level where what we will do is we'll take this equity and we'll say, well, what are the sources of equity? Well, owners can either contribute equity, which is contributed capital, or the company can earn equity by being profitable and profits belong to the owners. So we're going to break this owner's equity piece out into two pieces, the contributed equity as well as the earned equity that's been retained in the business. It's either contributed or it's internally generated. And when we expand this piece, that is called the expanded accounting equation. What do we expand? We expand equity. Hope that helps and good luck.